Right, YouTube, speak Mike without further ado, Retro. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd just do a video showing what I've been picking up. A bit of a chat about what we've been getting up to. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on with it. Let's have a look at the pickups. Cheers. Right, um, right. first up is a, a plus three game. Um, this is in pretty poor condition, to be honest. It's tur uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles on a Spectrum plus three disc. Um, the reason I bought this, I do have this. I've got it a couple of times as well, actually. It, um, this is in very bad condition, but I'm not actually sure that I um, have everything that's needed to play the game. So, what is actually needed? Um, I've got discs and manuals, which is all uh, what we got there. Discs and manuals. But what you need to play the game? Don't know if anyone remembers th remembers these. I actually did a story about these uh, going back a little bit, and it is a code sheet. Now it looks like someone's ripped that out of the manual, so. I might already um, have this inside the manual, but I thought I'd pick it up just in case, because at least that way I can then um, copy these somehow. Um, like I say, back in the day, um, the way we used to get back, if you put these through photocopiers, what happens is it just prints out as black, all ink. Um, one, which you're going to use a lot of ink, and two, uh, you ain't going to have the code. So, um, <laughs> back in the day, um, one of our friends actually knew a police officer and um, <laughs> they put this through the fingerprint machine. So any any of these purple and black uh, or sort of red and black code sheets, um, if they put them through the fingerprint machine and printed them off, they came out absolutely perfectly. You know, you could see them. So that was a little funny story from back in the day. Yeah, so I just picked that up. It's, a, it's about eight quid, I think, that, including postage. It's about four quid postage, £3.50 or something like that. So, uh, turtles. Now I should be able to get all the versions I've got working at least. So, and then we'll we'll keep the best one and uh, sell on uh, whatever we we don't keep. Uh, next game is uh, a modern game, which is um, Devil May Cry Five. I don't know if you can see that. It's the lenticular uh, cover, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you uh, if it's showing there, but. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I bought this game from uh, a company called Boomerang Rec uh, Boomerang Rentals, sorry. Um, and I find that they're quite good to buy modern games for. They actually rent games. Uh, they're a game rental system. Uh, but then once they've made their money with games, they sell the games on. So I'm finding for buying modern games secondhand at the cheapest price, they're one of the best options. So... Uh, yeah, and, and and all seem to come from in great condition. Discs are clean, uh, even coming with lent lenticular cover. Uh, so you can't really complain with that. So, right next up, we haven't seen one of these for a while. Um, yeah, it's a Super Nintendo game. So uh, I've not been spending a lot of money at the moment, as you can see. The, the pickups are sort of generally to the cheaper side of things. Um, we're sort of having a bit of a, a change about and a. You know, doing a few things, uh, culling some of the games that I, I've got to get other fund other things in the collection and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, it's a game that I don't have. It's actually in a uh, release, a Nintendo Super Nintendo release game, which is Super Soccer, and this is getting harder to get in nice condition. Um, yeah, in nice condition. Um, you know, at a reasonable price. So I thought I may as well pick it up now. I mean, it generally goes for about ten to twenty pounds, I would say. Um, so yeah, to get this in nice condition, um, I've got another one of the original Super Nintendo releases. So I think I paid between ten and fifteen for this delivered. So I was quite pleased to get that because uh, not really into the soccer games and all tennis games and things like, that, like the original Nintendo. But it's for Nintendo. It's generally pretty good, isn't it? Especially if a re release game for the console. So uh, the next one um, is a game. The um, old Stu, Mr. Toot UK, uh, was influenced by. He picked this up on one of um, his pickup videos. Uh, it was a while ago now, but uh, he actually had one of these and he, 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 he sold it. I think he'd done a sale or a swap with uh, Dane Stern. I was gutted that I missed out on it, but it, it worked out okay for me in the end. I mean, this, this copy's a little bit rough. It's a rental copy of um, Ray Tracers, which is um, apparently a sequel to... Uh, is it a sequel sort of Chase HQ, apparently? So it looks pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the graphics on the rental version. But this game here is generally a... As you see, it's a, a rental. It's generally a sort of around £20 game. 
Um, and I believe I got this for about six or seven quid. Okay, it's not in the best of condition. It has some sort of sticker stuck across here. But it's original, um, six or seven quid for a 20 quid game. Um, I'm, I'm happy enough with that. That'll do me. It means I can have a look at the game. I can play it, see what it's all about. And, uh, you know, if I, if I really enjoy it, then I can look to pick up a, a cleaner uh, condition one in the future. So... Right, uh, now another uh, game that I've been after for a little while. Trying to pick this game up for a reasonable price, or what I thought was a reasonable price. Because this game does seem to be going up in price. Um, it's generally, I mean, uh, me and sort of Cindy Steve sort of spoke about this. I mean, uh, I missed, I think I missed out to one where Steve got it before, and he picked it up for about, about, about £10. And I've been trying to pick this up for around the £10 mark for quite a while. It seems to now go for around sort of the £15, pound, £15 pounds mark. Um, even up to 20 but um, I managed to eventually get a side pocket um, on the uh, Mega Drive this is a UK release um, and like I say it's uh, I picked this up for £10 delivered which is uh, I'm really chuffed with there is a uh, American version of this on um, on eBay at the moment and that's like £7 exactly the same game in fact I actually prefer the artwork on the American cover it's actually got like a set of pool balls on the cover but um but I I prefer collecting um you know Mega Drive games rather than Genesis I don't know why as if you, uh, even Steve says the same he doesn't generally get Genesis unless they're exclusive uh, and I'm the same I just find you know on on the, their um things they got uh, here it's a massive like Genesis sign it looks horrible but it's a Mega Drive Mega Drive sign that was quite cool I think so Really pleased to get that, especially for a tenner. So, um, yeah, really chuffed to, to, to pick that one up. This game here, I'm not sure if I showed this in the previous video. If I did show it in the previous video, really, really sorry. Uh, but a bit sort of, I don't know where I'm coming and going with the videos at the moment. But um, it's another Konami game, and it's on the Mega Drive, which is uh, Animaniacs. Um, Animaniacs on the Mega Drive. It is the official Konami box, as you can see there. It is missing the manual. But I've got a feeling I picked this up for about less than £10, maybe £10. I think it was 8 or £9. And, and this is generally a sort of £15 to £20 game. So I was pleased to get that. And it's in an official Konami box. So, um, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. And I've been after that for a while, especially at the right price. Right, uh, next up is a bit of a boo-boo. Um, <laughs> I was hoping that uh, this game's quite hard to get uh, in, in nice condition on the Amiga. So I thought it'd be a bit cheeky and uh, basically get myself an Atari ST. Um, an Atari ST uh, version of the game and, and de-label it and make it an, a, an Amiga version. And I actually found that this game is in, in nylon mint condition. Uh, it is an ST game, but unfortunately for us... The uh the label isn't uh a very it is is actually part of the box so I can't make it into an Amiga version so but the box is in absolutely mint condition um and this is this is a really hard game to get in good condition and I think I paid twenty quid for this so um I mean my Amiga one's all sort of pressed in and dented in um and to get this in this this condition is it's almost like brand new you see it's, it's really really clean condition so um a little bit gutting i mean even the discs and everything are uh in here but uh yeah it's just unfortunate that but uh see discs are nice and clean i even know there and it's got the manual and everything so unfor unfortunately that wasn't a box that i could sort of de-label uh maybe the amiga versions of paper label i'll have to check my one and uh, if it is, I'll remove the paper label and stick it on this one. But, um, yeah, I was speaking to Paul, uh, Mr. Bads, and he, he was saying, yeah, he could actually let me know which ones are paper labels and which ones aren't. So I, I always thought they all were, to be honest. So uh, I've learned something myself this week then. <laughs> so as Ivanhoe in lovely condition, but unfortunately it's the Atari ST. Beautiful condition. Now, I'm, you know, I'll probably keep all that anyway because it's just lovely condition. The next one, um, these these were um, really expensive going back a little while ago, and they seem to have dipped in price. But then then I see them sort of way all over the shop. So um, it is a big box of deluxe paint uh, 
five is it yeah i think uh five and uh no five would be the v so that's uh iv is one before five so that's four isn't it <laughs> deluxe paint four uh if if i'm wrong please correct me my roman roman neurology is not what it should be <laughs> it's not what it used to be um so yeah deluxe paint four and i think i picked this up for under a tenner delivered and if you uh it it says upgrade edition but it is is um it's all in there it's all you know the original discs are in there in fact i think if i remember rightly i think um all of the deluxe paints were in here up to this i'm saying this now i can't open it on video <laughs> right so yeah there we have i mean the the manual alone weighs an absolute ton so you know it must have it must have cost them four or five pounds to deliver this so you have to yeah you've got the deluxe paint uh program disc there um, and then you've got the AGA graphics discs there so but I, know, I know there's two versions of this I think there's supposed to be a graphic disc and a yeah so that's art disc one yeah AGA art discs one and two hmm, I don't know perhaps it's missing the AGA disc maybe let's have a look see if it's got a, a program disc for the AGA so no, so it's just got the program disc. It doesn't mention the AGA. But then um, the art discs all say... Oh, no, the art, one art disc is normal. And the other two art discs are AGA. So this may be missing an AGA program disc, which I've got a feeling I've got uh, in another... I've got this twice. <laughs> I know that's not like me, is it, to buy something two or three times? <laughs> Which is uh, always handy when you're trying to raise a, a bit a bit of money to sort of go to uh, different things and future events and stuff, which I'll be talking to you about in a moment. So, so that's that one. D D Deluxe paint. It's chuffed, chuffed to have that one. Like I said, the prices of those seems all over the shop at the moment. But they, they used to be around twenty, thirty pounds, but now they seem to be, uh, you know, you can pick them up for some sort of ten pounds plus. So, you know, not too bad at all. Um, right, another one which I've got numerous times. Um, but this one looked in fairly nice condition. I knew I had one which is in pretty poor condition. And I've just basically looked through the ones I've got and dug out. This is the best version, I think. So it's a nice, clean copy of Harlequin. Um, I've got, got one that's pretty dented in. I've basically looked at all the Harlequins. I've got, I had got three. And this, this is basically a, the best of everything. So, you know, I took the best top and the best bottom. And uh, I'll have to test the discs and everything. But uh, I really like... I don't know why. Um, I like this with the green discs. So I thought, yeah, I'll get that with the green discs. And <laughs> every version I've got is with the green discs. I don't, So I've got three sets of green discs and manuals. So, uh, yeah, so i just got to make sure they're all working. And then I'll be uh, listing some more stuff on eBay. So, uh, But that's the one I'll be keeping. That's the one that's staying in my collection because that's in... Uh, really nice condition so really chuffed to get that and last but by no means least it might take me a while because i have to unwrap this one um is another game that i have uh again but this was the english version and i have another version and i didn't realize at the time of buying it it was a german box variant rather than the uk one so uh Without further ado, we'll let you know what we got, which is Blues Brothers. Uh, it's got a little bit of a crease there, but I think I got this for a good price. I think this was about ten pounds, which my other one cost me. I'm sure, it cost me over twenty. It's so one you don't see all of the time. I actually remember this being quite a good game, but a lot of people slate it. Um, I'm not sure if it's this, the same version as the Super Nintendo, but um, yeah, I'm just glad to get it in in English. It, it's a uh, yeah, it's very flimsy. It's a, it's a it's a sleeve, a slide over sleeve, but um, yeah, just uh, just chuffed to get it really. So let's have a look. Let's open it up. And so you got nice. This box is in in uh, good condition. Uh, it's got in, on the back there. It's unusual. So it's got uh, some of their. Uh, is that normal? Because right, so it's by Titus. Those aren't Titus games. So someone's made this box up, I think. So, because on the back here, you've got X-Out Turrican, 
Rainbow Islands and Chase HQ. Is that a... Uh, that's that's a compilation pack there isn't it <laughs> weird so I'll, I'll be nicking the best box and uh, someone else can get that I expect right so the Blues Brothers manual cool got that musty smell about it Ugh. so we'll get some Febreze in there and sort that out and a, and a disc so I think all versions play in English I think you can select the language and uh you know, you take it from there. So I'll be keeping the best uh, disc, the English sleeve, and the best box, and then we'll be uh, we'll have a good version of Blues Brothers then, or sort of half about one. So, right. So just a little sort of quick part at the end, uh, as um, you know, I'm from Bristol and everything. <laughs> so uh, you know, Big Mike from Bristol. Uh, we've got the Bristol Retro Gaming or the Bristol Gaming Market this weekend on Sunday at the train station uh, in one of the sheds there um so i will be going along to that uh, i don't know if i'm not we really spending big but I'll, I'll i'll take some some uh some funds with me so uh if i do see anything uh I'm, i'll uh be able to buy something so i'll definitely buy something there i'll probably buy a couple of items but not like what what i usually do you know when i take sort of big money to some of these events uh i'm not in a position to be doing that at the moment so just go along sort of you know to uh uh to basically uh, stop. I'll be going along to basically support the event or, uh, or any sort of retro gaming event in Bristol I will support um, and as we've only got one I uh, better show me face down there haven't I so uh, yeah I'll be lo uh, looking forward to seeing uh, Dane Stern and Liam down there I know the Let's Talk Retro lads have uh, already informed me that they're, they'll be going um, Paul Mr Bads uh, I believe is going uh I think me and Paul got some trades uh, we're going to sort of work out. Uh, I've got to send you some pictures of those games behind there, Paul, because I know you said you might be interested in a few of those, and uh, we'll work out some trades. Paul's got some uh, stuff on the Amiga that I'm interested in, so uh, we're sort of all doing swaps and trades at the moment. Uh, I've, got, I've got a few things uh, we're sort of putting together with Cine Steve as well at the moment. Um, I, I've got a pile at his house, a gaming pile of swaps, and he's told me what he wants, and I've got a sort of... Uh, let him let him know what else uh, I have and everything. So, uh, all right, YouTube, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry I've been away for a bit. I've uh, I've been a little bit ill, only a cough and a cold and all that. But uh, <laughs> I won't leave it so long next time. And uh, take it easy. Cheers.